Hi, I'm Andrew. And I'm Sam. And we're Envy Board Gaming, and today we're going to be taking a look at a number of the crowdfunding projects that we have backed, both on Kickstarter and on GameFound. Uh, Nick did his video a little while ago and posted it, and I was really interested in the games that he's backed. Uh, and really thought it'd be fun to kind of do one of our own, just kind of see the other half. Uh, and what's nice is that of all the games we backed, we only have one overlap with Nick and Vic. So uh, that means plenty of games that we got that they'll get to try because we bought them, and then vice versa. Yeah, I was about to say you get to try a lot of different yeah, games. Yeah, you don't then. have to buy hundreds of games, you just got to buy half. And we just share them. <laughs> right, or a portion, <laughs> and find people that buy other ones. Yeah. So yeah, so we thought this would be fun. Um, all of these are going to deliver... Um, by the end of 2023 so some are rolling in now ish and then but will some won't be delivered until like the end of next so, year. but with that being said we'll just jump right in and uh, we're gonna start here with sniper elite so this one is actually expected to be here very soon um, I know it is getting to the um, distributor right now so it's come over the ship has landed and everything and uh, this one is expected so I back this one back in 2020 I believe is when this funded yeah May no uh, I was last updated in May uh, but yeah I backed it back in 2020 I believe and so this one was is based off of a video game which I've never played I have friends that know of the game but I've never played it and I watched a playthrough with the uh, the dice tower and I really enjoyed it I like a lot of one versus all hidden player movement <laughs> kind of stuff I mean we're we're pretty big fans I would say of Jaws I like Jaws yeah. and Fury of Dracula F Fury of Dracula was a pretty good game uh, and so this one seemed really intriguing as well. Again, I have no idea uh, about anything when it comes to the video game, but I liked how simple it seemed and it still, it still gave like that, I feel like it gives that anxiety every turn, like, oh, are they gonna catch me? And you know, all the different stuff. So uh, essentially what it is, is one person is a sniper running out on these different maps and uh, they are trying to achieve two objectives. Um, one for each 10 rounds in the game. Uh, and then the other players are all working together using these German sh soldiers uh, in order to uh, catch them, shoot them and kill the sniper. You're going to say like German shepherds. <laughs> there, there are German shepherds. Uh, let me see. Right I thought here. I saw that. Yeah. They have these kennel masters where these dogs come and they, uh, yeah, they get to put like two of them out. So it's, it's That's interesting. Cool. Yeah. So I went, I, I originally pledged this at a dollar and got access to the pledge manager and then ended up going all in on this thing um, because I was so excited about it. So um, with everything that comes with the stretch goals and everything, I will go. So you're, I'm going to get the Sniper Elite, which is just the base game. Then you have the Eagle Sniper Eagle's Nest. Uh, this is going to have like different abilities for each sniper. So there's going to be mm. each, they're going to have different abilities for the actual sniper that they're adding to it, uh, as well as some, some more fun stuff. And then also the deluxe upgrade kit. So it's going to have some unique minis for the different uh, snipers, as well as some additional cards and, and the dry erase boards and stuff that you're going to be seeing there. So, um, yeah, so these all look really cool. I'm super interested in it. I don't know anything about the Testa Kill miniature, uh, the Hitler one, but mm. it looks funny, I guess. Um, so yeah, uh, this one is set to be here in the next couple weeks. So I should get a shipping notice probably in the next week, I would believe. Um, so yeah, so that's that one. I don't know if you knew too much about this game. I'm gonna guess probably not. No, I, I'm i interested to see because I may not know half of what you backed. That's true. Here. This might be a bad idea of a video, actually. <laughs> Ooh, I hope not. Uh, I will show off one thing, actually, I figure I would show off, which is uh, back on update 33. I kind of went through and wanted to at least show you some of the stuff that has been revealed. Maybe that won't make it look so bad. But I really like... This is what you're all going to be getting in the actual game. So these are the advanced 
you know production copies i really like the the artwork on the actual maps i think they brightened it up quite a bit from the one that you see on the dice tower playthrough um but i really like the art and the different the different maps you can play on and and everything so i'm pretty pretty excited about all that and it looks like everything from what i was reading in the comments for people that are overseas that have started to receive their boxes uh that all fits in one box which i'm pretty excited about there uh i am also going to apologize in case you can hear i think the neighbor's water is running right now <laughs> so you might be able Probably. to hear some stuff maybe someone's taking a shower anyway let's move on to the next one so the next one here is another one that is going to be based off of a video game called uh, Northgard Uncharted Lands. Uh, this was another one that I pledged at a dollar and then ended up um, actually backing the game. Um, so this one is expected around June or July, I would say. So um, there was a little delay in the freight, but it's supposed to be here May 31st. Um, so it should be hitting hitting uh, the US at the end of May, and then obviously you got a little bit of time for it to actually get to the uh, distributor and then to backer. So uh, I like this one, uh, I gave, uh, I like this whole dudes on a map, but it was super simplified, uh, as well as you're kind of putting out these tiles and there's gonna be some monsters that they add into um, this game it's like an expansion that they added it's like on. a viking type game yeah it is it's, yeah it's a nike it's a viking game so north guard so yeah this is the one that i got here the um war chief collector's edition so of course you backed it yeah uh vikings i like vikings i can't <laughs> and i just i like the artwork of this one i it's got like these little uh chibi minis kind of thing um and then they have they're gonna have like custom have inserts do they have purple? Yeah. yeah, they do. So this, you should be happy about this one. I am. And they have these this cool like creatures expansion that they added as well. So you're gonna get all these different creatures, and they have this um, this uh, wiver, wavern wyvern 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 I think it's wyvern miniature. Um, but they just have all these different miniatures for the different creatures uh, that I think looks really interesting. Um, so yeah, I'm excited about this one because it looks like it'll be pretty simple. Uh, to play but this one again should be coming here pretty soon and I will show you I just like the artwork to be honest yeah uh, it looks cool yeah so let's go up here try not to scroll too fast um, go to the updates there it is That's, I don't know what I'm trying to do there so they actually um, have everything done so we can see what it's gonna look like uh, on update number four 48 so here are these uh, let's see let's take a look at what we're gonna be getting so there's the box covers let's actually get to the goodies so here are the different pieces so you have the different player colors and everything there mm -hmm. um, there's a bunch of the cards that you're gonna be getting the insert I always am a fan of inserts that you can actually take out and use in the game and it just makes setup and tear down so much easier and simple um, here you have the uh, little War Chief extras that you're going to be getting, those upgrades. Um, this is a nice little insert that you're just going to be able to set off to the side and don't have to worry about doing too much. Um, yeah, and then you have the, the monsters that they added in with the different, with the expansion. Uh, yeah, I think it looks, I think it looks pretty nice. So yeah. I think it looks interesting. Yeah, I think the minis. I'll be. I'm. I'm interested in this one. So I, I'm not sure what to expect, but I am interested in this one. So that is Northgard Uncharted Lands. I think that's the last one that I had that's based off of a video game. <laughs> uh, the next one should be here also in June. Uh, this is, is going to oh, be I knew pretty. About this one. Yeah, you knew about this one easily. Um, so this one, they said they're still on track to deliver in june so marvel dice throne i think the dice tower just did their uh review of this as well didn't uh, we play we played some of these characters we did though. at the dice tower cruise i played you were black, black panther. panther and you played i was captain marvel were you captain marvel or scarlet witch captain marvel okay yeah. captain marvel and you beat me in that game if i remember mm -hmm. right yeah 
So yeah, in this one you got Spider Man, uh, you have Doctor Strange, you have Captain Marvel and uh, uh, Black Panther, as well as Thor and Scarlet Witch. So those are the six. Mm. So yeah, so they look pretty cool. Um, I'm like very Scarlet excited about Witch. this. Yeah, yeah, it'll it'll be interesting. And after we just saw uh, the new Doctor Strange video, now we have our movie. Or yeah, what did I say? Video. Video. I can't focus for some reason. <laughs> it's because you're multi Right, and I got the battle box for this one because uh, I have the other I have the other two battle boxes and Dice Throne Adventures, oh. which they include the little standees, so you can actually use them in Dice Throne Adventures if you would like to. Uh, I think. Mm. Oh, and Loki. Uh, he's the one I'm actually the most excited about for this set because he's all about deception with these different cards and stuff that he has. So I'm very excited to play Loki. Um, did you tell Sam about this? The yes, other Sam? Yes, I did tell him about this. I'm so sure they're he's pumped. they're excited when this comes. Now I joined since actually um, at the time that we recorded this, the Gen Con uh, events. I always love the dice that they do. The Gen Con events uh, just went live today, and I was able to jump in and join a dice throne tournament so i will probably get destroyed but i just want to join one just to say that i did it and have a good time so i'm pretty excited about that but yeah here is the battle box and everything um pretty excited and yeah i'm gonna have this cool zinc metal mjolnir hammer um very pumped about that i did not get the sleeves and all the add-ons and stuff that would be pretty sweet but i uh, i'm not made of money okay yeah. i just did the uh battle chest that's it. Nothing else. All right. So, yeah. Some more goodness. Excited about this one. I am not excited about needing more shelf space, but excited about this. Yeah, one. I'm pretty excited about it too. Are actually. you? Yeah. Oh, okay, okay. It's because it's 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 because it's Marvel, and they have a lot of cool characters. Okay. So well, anything that we both like, it's always a plus. Yeah. You don't get to keep it. Around. I like Dice Throne in general. I mean, it's a pretty. They're they're good, but it's right. you know. It's a lot of luck based with dice, and I don't. Sometimes it's not good right. luck. So, uh, let's see. The next one is uh, from Oh, I know uh, about BoardGameTables.com. Yes, although th there were two games in this Kickstarter, I only backed the Psychic Pizza Deliverers. Go to the ghost. You town. didn't get dandelions. No, I didn't want both of them. And dandelions, I believe, is a reskin <laughs> of another. Know. So they're both like Japanese games. Dandelions is like a reskin of a previous game, if oh. I remember right. Um, yeah, I so, could care less. Well, we maybe we can pick them up when we get to if they're at Gen Con. So it depends. We'll I mean, obviously, if it's a good game, but I mean, right? Who knows? So uh, I just did the pizza delivery one, the ghosts in Ghost Town. So I will scroll through these. I mean, they look good. I don't know how much we would actually play the dandelion yeah. one, just knowing the games that we play at two player. I don't know if that's one that we would want to play. Um, so the one that I was excited about was this, because it just had this unique theme, yeah. obviously, but also had this unique look to it. So uh, in this game, there is a game master where they're going to have this actual box with a different layout that they're going to actually create. And each of the other players are just going to have like a dry erase board for their color. And what they're going to be doing is they're going to be trying to move around on this board. Uh, and they're going to get very limited information because it's dark out. So they can't see anything. So they can't actually see where they're going. But what they're trying to do is they're going to be wandering through this actual board. Trying to find the pizza and then deliver the pizza to the correct house. <laughs> all right? And they could run into fences, portals, they could run into ghosts, all these different things. Um, but it plays pretty quick. I mean, 30 to 45 minutes, three to five player game. I felt like it, it looked pretty neat, pretty unique and different. Mm -hmm. um, so, yeah, and I would just want to be the game master. I wouldn't even have to play the other part. But I just, I thought it was super quirky and, and cute looking and, and something. You would make it fun. so difficult, though. Like, I, I, would, I just want to set up the board and go. But, yeah, you can see how they have to, you know, kind of try to get the right pizza to the right house. Because, like, the greenhouse wants jalapenos on their pizza kind of thing. Yeah. Uh, and whoever is the first one to do that is going to win the game. So, yeah. <laughs> That is this one. Uh, this one is expected to be here in July. So I, I believe it's still on track. They haven't said anything otherwise. Um, but I'm pretty excited about this one. I just I want to I try it so bad. As soon as yeah. we get this game, I'm going to want to play it. I'm going to have to get a group together. 
because um, it's definitely not for two players, obviously. All right, so let's move on to the next one. This one, Woo! somebody is super excited about. <laughs> um, as soon as uh, this game was made aware to us, there was no no such thing as not backing it. Yeah. Um, this is obvious to no avail. To no, it's no secret that you love dogs. Yeah. And so Dog Park was one that we had to back. Um, mm -hmm. It didn't matter. It was something that Samantha was all about. Yeah. Um, a lot of people compare it to Wingspan meets Parks, essentially, kind of thing. But what you're doing is you are these dog walkers, right? And you're yeah. walking these dogs and you have to get them their favorite thing, uh, their favorite items and everything. And this one looks... Pretty good, actually. Mm -hmm. um, actually, I'll show you. They actually just uh, showed us in the latest update what everything's going to be looking like. So I know they had a little bit of a hiccup, but because they've been doing so great with production, they still think they're going to be on track for uh, August. So August 22 is what this is expected to come in. So here is the actual production copies um, that we're going to be getting. I didn't. We didn't get the playing cards, but I like that insert with the dog bone Did, shape. Yeah, we got the bones, right? Yeah, we got everything except for like the uh, playing cards. But we got like the oh, European yeah, dogs and the famous, the famous dogs and mm -hmm. stuff. But this looks pretty interesting and really well produced. I like the just the look of the on the boards. Those are some pretty big uh, player boards, mm -hmm. so that's gonna be. I feel like this is gonna take up quite a bit of room on the table. And right. I think this is going to be one. I'm going to make you learn how to learn it and then teach me. Because this was oh. only backed, not that, <laughs> not because I didn't think it was good, but it was mainly backed because Samantha saw this and she was like, I have to have it. Yeah. I mean, look at the little wooden bits. I like, know. The little plushy toy them. and everything. It looks neat. And they give, yeah, they have each these unique I don't dogs. back games because Andrew does all the backing. So I don't have to really, he'll just be like, do you like this? Do you want me to back it? And I'm like, oh yeah, sure, take care of it. But there's no, there's no point in me backing games because you take care of all of that. So, oh, this is August but, now, but when he yeah. showed me, I was like, yeah, can you please get this? Yeah. <laughs> so it is still on track for uh, August, but this was uh, one that we had to back. Uh, because Samantha, look at the no like way. dog pieces. I I know it the looks wooden good. pieces. Yeah, it like looks they're good. Yeah, and I like, mean look if how it cute is like are. wingspan and uh, parks, then I don't have anything to complain about. I think <laughs> it's gonna be a. Gr I think it'll be a good game. I think they even like different routes too. Like certain dogs like different routes. From what I was like when I was watching one of their videos explaining it. Oh yeah. Um. Yeah, because you know, obviously, certain. This dogs looks when... like the parks track that they're gonna be using. And yeah. Obviously, when you're collecting these different dogs, it gives me more of a wingspan kind of feel. Mm -hmm. Um. So yeah, uh, I don't know. It, it'll be interesting. You're yeah. gonna have to learn it and teach it to us. So yeah, wow. August. So this is August of this year. So let's go on to the next one, which is Endless Winter. So this is the one game that is a crossover with Nick. So we both mm. backed this. He backed it at the highest pledge. I did not. I think I talked to him this weekend, uh, and I just backed the, what's it called? Not Pathfinder. I think it was just the Shaman. The Shaman one here. So I didn't get the resin pieces is what it was. So this one I am interested in. I like the art. It's by the Miko. Same mm -hmm. people, same guy that does the art for the North Sea and West Kingdom games and now the South Tigris games. Um, I don't know. Nick called this the Imperia, or Dune Imperium and Lost Ruins of Arnak Killer. Uh, I don't know about that. We'll see. I, I'm I'm not I'm not trying to lean too much into the hype, um, and that's pretty hard for me to say. So Nick is getting the chief one, and I'm gonna get the shaman one. But anyway, <clears throat> it is. Uh, I don't know. We'll see how good it is. I think this is gonna be maybe a little bit more involved than those. <clears throat> Does the chief one come with a giant head? A giant head. What, do you what mean? is that? Oh, these are just uh, it's a zoom in of these <laughs> oh, resin bits. It's like, it's so a giant. the difference between our pledge, he's going to get the playmat and the resin bits, and I think oh. everything else is the same. 
Okay, so yeah, they look really nice here. I'm, I'm pretty, I mean, production is going to be off the chart, uh, but I'm pretty excited about that. You're going to have your little exploration and building up your little camps and stuff there. Uh, but this one, I think, is very highly anticipated by a lot of people. Uh, this is one I expect to hear a lot of things about. I'm hoping good things. Um, so we'll see. But it's also another big box. So they're supposed to have a box that fits everything. Um, but yeah, you can just see. I love, again, custom inserts. Always great for setup and teardown. That's a big deal to me when I'm looking at a game. Is it going to be easy to set up, tear down, and teach? Those are some big, big things. Because otherwise I'm going to lose people halfway, halfway in. Um, but yeah, so then we have here the the shaman. So this is what I got. So you get the ancestor expansion, these canine familiars module, um, the mammoth module, which was it was Kickstarter limited, aurora borealis module, ceremonial grounds, uh, all these extra goodies, the rivers and rafts. I like the screen printed. Ah, I, I mean I'm I'm happy with just screen printed um, wooden bits. Those are nice. Um, here we go, some more unlocks and everything that we've got. Then you have the cave paintings. Um, so yeah, this is going to be a pretty involved game, I think, just by looking at it. But I'm, I'm excited about it, especially when you add in all the extras and expansions. So yeah. So yeah, so that is Endless Winter. Nick kind of talked about it, so I'm not going to spend too much more time on it. But I am very excited for this one as well. All right, next one is, and this one is supposed to be delivering in, I'm gonna say September. Um, I, I, you know, they're always like right up, the, the end of August I think is when it's supposed to start fulfillment is like August 29th. Mm -hmm. uh, and they're supposed to be done like in September I think. So I'm gonna say I'll probably get mine in September. So the next one we're looking at is going to be the two expansions for Viscounts of the West Kingdom. So this, uh, it said October 2022, but Shem, and not that I'm expecting it to be, but typically uh, Garfield Games, they when they do their Kickstarters, everything is pretty much already done. They have some minor tweaks or something that they have to do, but this is going to be probably early. It says October 2022. I'm not going to try to put the pressure on, oh, you got to deliver early or anything like that, but I think it will. I think it will be early, probably by a month or so. Um, so yeah, we'll see. But expected October. All of his other Kickstarters have always delivered early. Um, and they do pretty well. Um, so this one has two expansions and the collector's box. Um, I'm hoping the collector's box is good. I've not been happy with the... Uh, architects or the paladins uh, collectors box so I'm hopeful but uh, I'm one that stores my games vertically and none of those have been <laughs> beneficial for me um, so that's unfortunate but I mean there's yeah yeah I mean it is what it is anyway so yeah so you have the two different expansions let's see uh, I'm yeah pretty straightforward I won't go too much into it uh, just because if you like bad counts, you probably already backed it. And if you don't, I don't know. They raised a ton of money for this, by the way. Uh, quite a bit. Uh, let's see here. So you have, what's this one? I mean, they don't seem like huge, huge expansions. But you have the Keeper of Keys ones there. Here is the Gates Keeper. I think is it Gates of Gold. That's what it is. So you just have some extra cards, some new a manuscript board, um, but they're all, I mean, not super gigantic, which is nice. Just add a little bit. I don't need a ton. And they're always so well-priced. I think they're like, what is it, $26 for one? So that's not too bad for an expansion. That's not bad, especially yeah. nowadays with prices going up. So yeah, I'm pretty interested to get this one going. Uh, so yeah, that is expected October of this year. So the next one is one that I did not back. This is actually one that my mother-in-law backed for me. Yeah. Because she, she wanted to get it for me for my, uh, is it Christmas or birthday? I can't remember. I think she said birthday. Okay, maybe it's my birthday Because that'll gift. come first. Right. Um, but, <laughs> so this is supposed to come in October, and there's no way I'm waiting until December 
my birthday to play this game. She might not let you open it. She's not going to know when it arrives, probably. <laughs> Maybe for this one, I'll change the shipping address. You know what, though? She wants to play this game. She does. I. She's a huge Jurassic Park fan. Yeah. Anything Jurassic Park or Harry Potter, she's very interested in. Yes. And so, in this case, Jurassic World, because we are already going to go see this in a couple weeks. It's going to be excited. The new yeah. one. Um, so, this one is by Funko Games. <laughs> Ah, I hope it's good. I really do. I really hope this is good. It is uh, a legacy game from Funko, and uh, Prospero Hall was the designers of it. And so I have kind of a love-hate with Prospero Hall. Uh, some games I really love. We talked about Jaws earlier. I'm pretty sure they did Jaws. Mm-hmm. Um, they've done you know a lot of the games that we like, Villainous. Um, mm-hmm. But then they've also done some games I really haven't liked, like Fast and the Furious or The Rocketeer or you know yeah. those kinds of things. And so I'm hopeful. I'm very hopeful. Um, I know this Kickstarter got some some backlash because they didn't have enough Kickstarter exclusives, and then they kind of rectified that and added some new stuff. So in the Kickstarter exclusive, you can play as Blue. He's like a new character, or she's oh, a new cool. character, which is neat. And interesting, they added in these like amber minis of the dinosaurs, but I don't think anybody's really going to use them. They're more of like a display piece. Originally, the only Kickstarter exclusive was the sleeve. And people were like, why would I pay that much money and only get a sleeve when I can wait for it to go to retail and then wait for it to be discounted, you know? But then they added these deluxe tokens, which is really nice. They added this additional character for Blue. Mm -hmm. Uh, There are the Amber Dinosaurs they added. So they added more Kickstarter exclusives. Yeah. Yeah. That's neat. Yeah, so it's it's got, I believe it is 12, 12 adventure guides, right? And then after you've played through it, you'll have... You won't unlock everything through, but at the end, I guess you have everything and can add and and kind of uh, continuously replay the finale, essentially. Mm. Um, so yeah, I don't know. I'm I'm really hopeful. I, I'm, I'm like I'm, I'm like my mother-in-law. Be like, man, I hope it's a good one. I hope it's a good well, one. Well, and you sent her the Kickstarter like yeah. page, and she was looking at it, and that's what hooked her. And she was yeah. like, oh. I'm gonna get this. I was like, I was like, you know what? That's not a bad Christmas or birthday present. I'll take it. Yeah. You know, she wants you to keep it here, and then she gets to play it. Uh, but I don't think she's gonna play through all twelve. I'll be like, we'll Probably play through not. it. I think Nick and Vic will want to play this one. Yeah. This is one I think Vic's, they'll want to like play. Like dinosaurs. Yeah, she's a big dinosaur fan. I tried to talk Vic into backing this one, but <laughs> she didn't. Alright, so and that one is, uh, just so you guys know, that one is expected in October. Oh. Yes, so in October. Oh, um, so they have... Okay, yeah. I won't spoil it. Well, it's it. pretty much already done. Um, spoil what? Oh, what popped up. What was it? Was it no, the this. Jurassic, this one? Yeah. Oh, yeah, so this is the next project. I didn't want to say anything before you said it. Oh, no, 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 you're good. Um, so yeah, so Jurassic Jurassic World Legacy is expected in October. But anyway, we're already done talking about that one. <laughs> Let's talk about this Atlantis Rising expansion called Monstrosities. Hmm. So this is an expansion to Atlantis Rising, uh, which is a really fun worker placement cooperative game. Mm-hmm. Uh, I know Z loves this on the Dice Tower. I really like it. It's a great game. Yeah, um, you got this for me as a gift one year. Mm-hmm. Uh, and so this was the expansion. All right. And this was originally expected, I believe, October of last year. Or that's the retail pledge. Yeah. Everything was expected at October of last year. Now they're looking at this coming in October of this year. So it's going to be about a year late. Um, so there are a lot of delays with this one. I know they're waiting a really long time with the artwork. I, I, it's hard for me to gauge just how big this expansion is because here it looks like that is a big box, right? It looks mm-hmm. like it, but when I go through it, I don't know. I don't know. It, I mean, you get these cool minis for the different monstrosities that they're adding. You have the allies um, that are going to be helpful, the new counselors, um, new magic items. Um, if you want to make it more difficult, or I don't know if it'll make it less difficult, but yeah, there's three new difficulty levels, um, which are cool. 
I am mostly excited, obviously, about like this Medusa and all these different people that they're adding in. Uh, I think hmm. that's going to be really neat. Yeah. Um, but it looks like, you know, just the stuff. I don't know how big of an expansion it's going to be, but yeah, it's a little delayed. But I can't, you know, I can't complain too much. It's not. It was relatively cheap. I mean, twenty nine dollars just for the expansion, which is what I did. It was pretty cheap. Can't mm-hmm. get, can't get too upset about that, right? Twenty nine bucks? No, I'm just kidding. Um, so yeah, uh, the components I have are nice, so I didn't add on a bunch of other stuff or anything like that. Um, but yeah, this one should be here in October of this year. So pretty excited about this. This is um, from Elf Creek Games. Yes. All right. So that is October. Now we're gonna go into the first of the Game Found games that I had supported or backed uh, and that is going to be the new deluxe collector's edition of Robinson Caruso now full disclosure I was on the brink of getting rid of our copy of Robinson Caruso because it doesn't get played very often because it's so difficult to get back and like learn it it takes a while to get in and learn it and if i don't continuously play it i'm going to forget it however when this came out was right around when i was going to try to sell it i decided to back it why would i want to back something that i was going to sell well i didn't back like the actual full game i just got the kind of like the upgrade package so i keep all my stuff and it just adds the upgraded stuff and and the new stuff uh and with it comes with this adventure book so supposedly they're gonna have this um how to play video like tutorial that is gonna make it so much easier to play like it is supposed to be amazing Mm -hmm. and being able to get you into the game much faster teach you the game a lot easier as you're playing it instead of having to turn through a rule book or watch a super long how to play video or something um so i'm pretty excited about that because this book this book is like a hundred and like forty some pages if i remember right it's it's gigantic and they have all these new scenarios and everything in it um, but I just did like this upgrade pack. So I just got the upgraded stuff with the book. That was it. Nothing, nothing like all in. I didn't get the sun drop stuff on the minis, nothing like that. I didn't add on all the stuff that you can. Um, but, uh, I was pretty excited just for that purpose. So I want to be able to play through the adventures, add some new cool stuff to go through. And if it makes it, if it can get into the game easier, I'm going to want to play it a lot more. That's the only yeah. reason. So I'm I'm hopeful of this one. So yeah, so that is uh, Robinson Caruso Collector's Edition. Is Robinson Caruso the one that you're able to play cooperative? Yes, it's a cooperative game. Okay, uh, we think... played it and did we win or did we fail? I, I think remember. we won. Did we? I, I think it's been a while since we played it, but it has this giant palisade that also you're gonna be building up. So before it was just like, oh, we built this part. Now you're gonna actually have this giant 3D palisade that you're gonna be building up. And all these minis, and there's a dog mini. You should be excited about that. (laughs) I'm just saying. Uh, So yeah, so Robinson Caruso, um, I know it's a very popular game. All right, next is gonna be the highly anticipated 7th Citadel. So this is gonna be expected around November, December of this year. Um, so we'll see how that goes. I'm, I'm hopeful. I know there's still, um, final touches on a lot of stuff and I think they were play testing some things recently, but whatnot, but yeah. So this, I had missed out on the Kickstarters of seventh continent. Um, but I did not miss out on seventh Citadel. This is seventh continent is one that I actually want to do like, uh, some playthroughs of, and you know just do like a whole thing and play through it and post uh, like different videos it might be spoilery but whatever it's something i want to do so yeah so this one again is going to come with a bunch of little these little mini expansions and all the stretch goals that's going to add but now it adds more of a oh i don't really i'd have to go back and reread through it uh, it's it's a whole new game it's not it doesn't take place on the seventh continent 
but they did make some changes and and stuff so i'm i'm very interested in this um they had like a little thing that you could play through a little bit i believe and i i messed with that some but i just love the system it's all cards it's so easy to just set up and start playing right away uh i'm i'm pretty excited about that um yeah i don't really have too much to say on this one other than i know this is another one that's going to be highly anticipated so yeah that's seventh citadel okay let's go on to the next one this one's going to be late 2022 Ooh. it was originally expected to be here in June, but this is gonna get pushed back to probably towards the end of the year. And this is the um, complete collection of Everdell. So we have everything for Everdell right mm -hmm. now, all, even all the promos and everything. Um, and this is gonna add the actual collector's box thing and the two new expansions. Um, so, and at this point I'm like, wow, there's so much stuff for Everdell. Uh, but mm -hmm. I am excited to put it all in one box. And they have kind of shown off uh, what that is going to look like. It's going to be a giant box. Well, here, I'll show you what it looks like, actually. <laughs> like, so, <laughs> it's massive. It's going to be, it would have to be to fit all well, that stuff. Well, it's, it's probably, looking at our shelf over there, it might take up about the same amount of space anyway. I was able to push everything into um, two boxes. Oh, that's but, right. But uh, this is going to make it so much better is this the right nope this isn't the right thing let's go back to the updates it is right here so they kind of show off lately now they've had some issues the China, the factory in china has been shut down for like five weeks because of covid so that's why we're kind of seeing mm. these they have to make some minor changes but this is what we're looking at for the box so there's the box there and here are each of the inserts that they're going to have and I think it looks pretty sweet. Mm. So you're gonna be able to put the tree in there and everything. Here's all the, the meeples that you're gonna have, which is just crazy. I'll probably keep mine in bags because I can only imagine try to like finger pinch and get them all out and stuff. Yeah. But I'm gonna put them in there. Here's all your wonders and your little open and close signs. Look like they go in there. Uh, I did get the deluxe little holders. That's gonna be pretty neat. Um, even though I know I printed off some 3D printed ones, um, but yeah. these these are gonna be pretty cool as well. So it's like Foundations of Rome, the way that they those trays. Oh yeah, it's not like your player trays. They just essentially it looks like they've like separated each expansion mm -hmm. almost into a different tray, which is nice. If you don't want to use them all, you don't have to. Yeah, uh, they're all right there. They do have all the cards here, which is really nice with those little dividers, that looks cool. Um, yeah, which again, anything that makes the game easier, because this takes a while to set up. Mm -hmm. You know, but look at the size of the box. Woo, that baby's gonna be big. So mm -hmm. yeah, um, I don't mind it going deeper, so long as it fits in a calyx. <laughs> so yeah, that this is gonna be expected here at the end of the year, but this is, R such a good game like we love this game mm -hmm. we love this game a lot so yeah it's that really is gonna game. be everdell next makes me want to play it this is gonna be one again that will probably show up early we just backed this one and so it's gonna be expected this year and that is wayfarers of the south tigris i have um let's see here my very first kickstarter was all in when they did the expansion for Explorers of the North Sea, and I got everything for the North Sea. This is before I even, we, me and you were together. Mm -hmm. And uh, I got everything. And ever since then, I have backed every single Garfield game that has come out, and I have yet to be disappointed. And this one, I have watched playthroughs of, and I do not expect to be disappointed with this one. So Wayfarers of the South Tigris um, is the new South trilogy. Uh, I really like the little panorama that you're building up with the, the different space cards and you have the landscape at the bottom. I thought that looked so cool. Um, the, the play on dice, uh, that you're going to be using these dice in your in the game. Um, I think they're just trying to, computer's trying to catch up a little bit here. But again, the Miko art looks good. Uh, I'm, I'm very excited about this one. I can never go wrong when it comes to Shem Phillips and S.J. McDonald. 
uh, and the Miko. So we're going to be going along the ride for the South Tigris. Uh, yeah, trilogy as well. And of course, and the thing is, is, they always do so well. They don't need to have a bunch of extra uh, Kickstarter exclusives. They throw in a few promos, but that's about it. So yeah, this one is uh, going to be pretty... I, I like the insert. Again, uh, I worry about their inserts. So we'll see. Their boxes are always so worrisome to me, but I love the games. So yeah, Wayfarers of the South Tigris. All right, now we're going to be moving on into... Uh, this is going to be Rolling Heights by John D. Clare coming from AEG. Uh, and this one is going to be expected in February 2023. So this is the first one that's going to be coming in 2023. Um, I got a chance to see this in person and play with it a little bit and uh, at Gen Con last year. And I was... I'm, I'm kind of smitten by John DeClaire right now. Everything he touches, I, I have loved, whether that be Cubitos or Space Base um, or Dead Reckoning. And so, yeah, uh, Rolling Heights is one that I, I liked it, and it so, was so quick. It looks like something that's going to be a lot more um, like difficult to get into, um, but it's really not. Even just watching how they were doing it, like you're rolling these meeples and these little boxes, and depending on how they come up, you're going to be able to do different things with them. And this one is going to include these little extra Kickstarter bonuses. So it's like a yeah. King Kong kind of thing going on there. So yeah, this one I'm very intrigued with. It's like you're going to be building up this city. It's very 3D. You're going to be stacking these cubes. There I was talking about you're rolling the different meeples. Um, yeah, I you can't really can't really go wrong with John DeClaire. Um so I'm pretty excited about that, and I, I hear there's more John D. Clare coming this year as well. Well, he did, does Point Salad, too? No, no, no. AEG, oh. AEG does Point oh, Salad. Oh, okay. No. So he's done Space Space, um, Dead Reckoning, uh, Cubitos, those, those games. Those are the ones that we have of his. Let's see. So I think he did Mystic Veil, vale too, if I remember right. I could be wrong there. So yeah, so that's these. So Rolling Heights, John D. Clare. Can't go wrong. Enough said. <laughs> All right. <laughs> Moving on to the next one. Tang Garden Seasons. Oh, of course. Of course. This is probably the most beautiful game I have ever seen. You told me about this one. Yes, of course yeah. I told you about this one. Because this was a no-brainer for me. <laughs> so um, this is uh, an expansion for Tang Garden. Uh, and as soon as I found out this was coming out and they're giving us like upgraded minis for free, um, I called our, my buddy Eddie and I was like, stop painting those other ones because they're <laughs> tiny. And I was like, don't paint them anymore because I'm going to have new ones coming in. And so he was like, oh, thank goodness you told me. Uh, and so, yeah, <laughs> we uh, this is a, like a modular expansion. So, And I believe you can play it as a campaign. But essentially what it is is in Tang Garden Seasons, there are these four different seasons that you can play through. So, like, you can't put them all together, um, but you could play through autumn. You could play through winter, that kind of stuff. And each of them have their own little uh, niche. Uh, I heard they were going to be making some changes to the game uh, through this, so I'm excited to see what they, what kind of changes they make, uh, and how things are going to work. Um, but we'll see. Um, I'm I'm excited about this. Like, look at these. Look at those pagodas. That's gonna be, like it's just more stuff, obviously, on the board. But I don't care. I, this is the game where I will just get the pieces out and build a beautiful garden, not actually play the yeah. game. Yeah. <laughs> And put them all together. It and then want to take pictures of them. appealing. Yeah, I love it. I thought it was great. They're going to be getting rid of uh, all those tiny little bases. And then you're oh. just going to have your bases, which is so much better. Mm -hmm. um, I just need to be able to know which mini is who <laughs> when it correlates to the cards. You're going to have all these new characters. I'm excited for the upgraded characters. Look at all these new decorations and mm -hmm. the landscapes. I mean, is that a is that a unicorn? It I don't, looks I, like I, it. It just looks. It's such a it's such an interesting game, and I I've enjoyed it uh, pretty uh, like a lot. I mm. really like this game. Um, so yeah, and I was I was like, please put a plastic base on these lanterns, and they finally did. I was like, yes, please, thank you. <laughs> so yeah, 
But yeah, you can get everything else too. Obviously, I don't need it, um, but I do have this um, complete collection box that's going to be coming. So I can put everything together and it look nice instead of bagging everything up like I have already. All right. So yeah, I'm pretty excited about that. So let's go on to the next one, which is going to be, uh, and what did I say? Did I say when that was going to be delivered? That's going to be February of 2023 as well. So this one, Steam Up. This one is expected. Is that sushi? Uh, no. So oh. <laughs> this is uh, this is dim sum. So dim sum is what you're looking at, oh. uh, not sushi. Uh, so dim sum, a steam up, a feast of dim sum. This is going to be expected in April of 2023. Uh, so this one, What's I had dim sum. It's the food. It's like those little uh, like dough ball things. Like the oh. have you never seen the little steamer boxes that you know people spin around? No. You know? No. Okay. I'll have to. We'll talk about. Is it from later. like Kung Fu Panda? <laughs> okay, we'll talk. We'll talk about it after the video. I'll show you what it is. I thought you okay. No. <laughs> is it like a dumpling? Yeah, kind of. Yeah, yeah. Okay. Well, I don't know. Apparently. Yeah. Well, I got. I when I first saw this, I think I just saw it as like a, um, like a Facebook ad or something like that, and I started following the project on their Facebook page and everything. And then last year at Gen Con, they had somebody who actually brought like a prototype copy in. I got to sit down and see the squishy little bits and everything. And uh, yeah, I'm I'm pretty excited about this one. I yes, those obviously those little steamers, those are those are cool. It's gonna be rotating around. Uh, I was really actually more excited about all the different characters you can play. I think there are like. There's a ton. I don't even want, maybe like 20. I don't, maybe that's a bit high. I don't know. But there's a ton of different characters mm -hmm. that you can play. Um, but yeah, so you have like these different, you know, meat dumplings, the shrimp dumplings, the barbecue meatball kind of things. And they're going to have these squishy ones. So oh, I was like, ooh. So it's a sensory thing. Yeah. And, super, and you're, I'm going to get, a, I'm going to get chopsticks two for for this game it doesn't come with them but i'm gonna pick them up we can get them at like strax and pick it it's up it's gonna be like one of those youtube videos where they make like those tiny little meals <laughs> yes yes oh yes <laughs> that's true the tiny meal thing. see because you can get like just the little cardboard tokens i was like no no we can't do that but you're gonna be like rotating them and kind of um putting it feeding your person and as you are uh, feasting on them, you're gonna upgrade what they can do. And so stuff. weird. But yeah, look, look, that's like a magician bunny. They have some really funny different things that you can play as. I think it's so, <laughs> so cool. Uh, and then you have these like little fortune cards and everything. So uh, yeah, I'm pretty excited about this one. I just think it's so cute, and I think it's. I'm, I'm hoping it's good. Uh, from what I've from at Gen Con when I got to play it, it looked it. Felt pretty good. I'll be it all about good. it if there's cute little animals. Yeah, in they it. have some. <laughs> of course, see, yeah. So yeah, dim sum or no steam up a feast of dim sum. So yeah, super cool. Uh, next one is oh, this might be one of my. At the end, we'll say which one we're most excited about. But this one might be up there. I'll have to tell you later. Uh, Divinus. So this game. Uh, is from Lucky Duck Games. This is I backed this on Game. Oh. This one is gonna be expected. It's been delayed, uh, but it's expected in August of 2023. Mm. So it's gonna take a little bit of time. Um, but as soon as I saw that box cover, I was like, "What is this game?" That is probably the best looking box cover I've ever seen. Uh, and essentially, it's like you are a demigod. It's a tile placement legacy game right mm. it's from the same team that brought us chronicles of crime and destinies mm. which i know we haven't done a review on destiny so i won't give away too much there but i we know that we love chronicles of crime yeah and uh i hadn't even played destinies when we backed this so when i backed this i didn't have any idea anything about destinies um but this is essentially you're a demigod and you are going to be completing quests and doing different things to gain the favor of these rivaling gods. So you have the Nordic mm. gods on one side. You have the, uh, I believe it's the Egyptian gods on the other side. Uh, and they are going to be kind of clashing back and forth. Uh, and so 
again, it's it's gonna. But here's the thing, you know, like Chronicles of Crime has like the QR codes, right? Mm-hmm. And the same thing with Destinies. So well, these they have this new technology of like sticker, these like scannable stickers that you're gonna be placing out. And uh, the app is actually going to scan these stickers instead of having to be QR codes. And so it's kind of, it's going to be different in that way. Oh. Um, but as you are putting these stickers out on the tiles and you're going to be putting stickers on your dice, you're going to be changing your dice, you're going to be gaining these titles and different things, um, the app is going to remember what you did and what your title is and they might refer yeah. to you and whatever you did is going to affect future games like if you help somebody do something in a certain area the game might then have an event that occurs in that area yeah. and like it's going to have um if you earned a specific title by doing something later on something might trigger that's going to affect whoever has that specific title oh. um, so i'm trying to be relatively vague um, because I don't, well, one, I can't tell you everything because I don't know everything. Um, but it is so cool. So they have the base game, and I, I definitely went all in with this Pantheon pledge here. So we're going to have the minis and the, the uh, or I didn't, I did not go all the way in, I don't think. I don't think I did that. I did, I did uh, the chest of plenty. That's this one. So it kind of includes all of this stuff here and then plus uh some extra stuff i can't remember the i I can't remember all the upgraded stuff that's what it is the epic minis so this you just got like the um they had some fancy uh wooden meeples for the monsters here you actually get the mini so i wanted that one but it has an expansion uh it has all the kickstarter exclusive stuff and some reset um packs which are cool one for each this one I have high expectations for, um, and I have no worries about waiting because I'm that excited about it. But I feel like when I've watched the, when I've heard about the gameplay, it seems very simple. And this is one that I think you're gonna really like as mm-hmm. an adventure and with tile placement. So mm-hmm. I think it's gonna be, and they have purple. So I mean, come on. But yeah, this yeah, is gonna be a little late. Duck games, because right. well, I mean, lately everything right. that I've played from them has been awesome so the minis look cool i'm just i i'm really hoping the story is as good as they say it is like everything and how it all interacts and how it's all gonna come to fruition Mm -hmm. i'm very excited about that so i i cannot wait and i have high expectations because of that because of that more so with just the story and how it's going to interact on that Mm -hmm. all right and then the next one is going to be another game found pledge that just finished backing uh, and that is <laughs> Sleeping Gods Distant Skies. So I if you watched our review I really liked Sleeping Gods I really liked it. I played it I played the whole campaign in a weekend because I had it set up on the table and we I, I, I shouldn't say we I played it yeah. for hours and hours and so um, I was pretty absent for that yeah. weekend but <laughs> It was so good. I think I was busy doing I'm not going to lie. When this came out, I was almost like, oh, why did I get Sleeping Gods? I want this one. Because as a solo game, Sleeping Gods is not that easy because you're managing like nine different characters. Mm -hmm. And in this one, it's like five. And so it's not as big. Not as I mean, when I say not as big, I mean, it doesn't seem to take up as much space. They kind of redid the combat. And the little ability cards. Like, instead mm-hmm. of having to discard a card when you use the ability or whatever, um, it's it's more so you get to keep it. So I, I'm pretty excited about that. They added some miniatures to it. Uh, and this st- uh, Thunder Storm Isle, which is kind of like the Dungeons expansion that they added. Um, but then they had this, too. So I think this is maybe even a smaller. I don't know if it'll be smaller, but this might be a good one. This is specifically for, like, one to two players. Hmm. This would be good. So in, in um, Sleeping God's Distant Skies, you are a plane, right, that went through, like, a portal or whatever, and now you're, you know, in this universe uh, and I like the I like the map. It's like squares now. Uh, instead of Sleeping Gods, it was all kind of like an awkward shape as you were moving around. But yeah, that looks good. But then here in the uh, this one here, you are on a boat, and so you're going to be coming down this like river. And and so I heard something about like this was the original 
thought when it came to sleeping gods but now they like redid it and revamped it and and now it's like a, a one to two player version um so i'm I, I i'm super excited about this game and this is going to be expected in august of 2023 so i just i can't oh and it has audio narration so i'm super excited about that that's probably the biggest thing i'm excited about is the audio narration i, I really want to be immersed into this theme and into this story uh, and experience sleeping god so i know i'm doing a lot of talking but now we're uh, really getting pumped into a lot of games and then i have one more one more project this uh was a no-brainer for me this was the this is the dark quarter so this again this is going to be expected in october of 2023 okay and so this one uh, I didn't go all in on this one. I didn't need uh, all the minis and whatnot. Um, so this is from Lucky Duck Games and Van Ryder Games. And I believe it's the designer that did Detective City of Angels. So we have been playing through mm -hmm. Detective City of Angels with Nick and Vic. Yeah. And uh, I think Nick mentioned it in their quarterly, but it was like his most improved game. And that is a game that every single time we played it, it has gotten better. Mm -hmm. uh, I actually get a little bummed out when we have game nights and we, we don't get to that one or whatever it is. This is the one you were telling me about. Yes. So unlike Destiny's, this one is cooperative. Mm -hmm. uh, it is set in like the, uh, what, like 1980s or something. It's in, um, it's in uh, New Orleans. Mm -hmm. New Orleans. Right, it is rated M for mature, so it's gonna be, but it's gonna have that same feel as Destiny's, as you're gonna be traveling around, and as a team, you're gonna be solving these like mystery thing, mm -hmm. crime, crime scenes and everything that you're gonna be doing. It does take two to three hours, um, but you're gonna also be keeping the same character. It seems like from scenario to scenario, and your story's gonna be building, mm -hmm. uh, and your characters gonna be growing. So you might not have as much fluctuating when it comes to those but it's going to still have that same um what do you want to call it like the dice chucking with the different te uh, skill tests mm -hmm. that you're doing it's still going to have that same uh same thing mm -hmm. uh, and i'm more intrigued by this theme in all honesty yeah it sense. seems really cool i mean i love anything any board game crime related so right and so this one, they had a bunch of extra stuff um, that they unlocked. They unlocked like, I think four more um, scenarios and the little uh, extra, what was it? Like stretch goals, I guess, uh, right. expansion <clears throat> that they added to. So then you have these. I did not get like the plastic bits. I just, I'm okay with the cardboard from seeing Destiny's. I'm very happy with the cardboard pieces that came in that game. Yeah. Um, but yeah, you're going to have the city board, all these location tiles that give me a very, um, they give me a very uh, Chronicles of Crime feel, mm -hmm. right? But then also, you know, Destiny's feel. Walking around these different, like, location markers, yeah. skill cubes, all this stuff, the different cards that have the exact same kind of almost look. You know, you have the QR codes and everything there. Mm -hmm. uh, and then you have these monster minis, which look pretty cool. I don't need the minis for all the NPCs. That's the thing. That, that got so frustrating in Destinies that, you know, not to give too much spoiler, it just got to be way too much, and they were so small. And then here's all the extra goodies that you get from the little expansion thing here. Look at that. Wow. Yeah. So you got Chef's Kiss, the We the Dan, the Yesterday Demon, and Absolute Corruption, all those. Dual layer boards, which was a must. Custom insert, I I hope the insert is better than Destiny's was. Um, but yeah, that's that's uh, that's pretty much it. So here are all the different characters that you can play as in the expansion and stuff. So, but yeah, Lost in the Night. So here's another bunch of scenarios that you get to play through. So. Mm. And at a pretty decent price, so I'm pretty I'm pretty excited about this one. I did not. I think I did the detective right here. This is what I went with. But yeah, so 
yeah that's all the projects that we are backing well that i'm backing for us <laughs> uh and very excited is there one that you are the well i actually feel like i already know what is the game that you're the most excited about I mean, Dog Park, obviously, I but um, this one, The Dark Quarter, I'm actually very intrigued by, mm -hmm. and I really love, you know, app-driven games, and uh, I love crime, so... <laughs> You love investigating crime. Let's Inve be careful. Okay, yes. Let me investigating crime. So I love like crime documentaries and stuff like that. Right. But uh, I don't like, you know, murder in itself. I guess I should <laughs> kind of set the record straight That's on good. that one. Yeah. Like I wouldn't like to play a game where you're like murdering people or, you know, right. like a horror theme. I'm not a horror themed person. I don't really care for horror. So right. um, I like the whole crime investigating part of it right and that's why i think this is going to be i'm going to like this a little bit more than mm -hmm. uh, destiny's because of the theme and everything yeah. and i think you'll like it because it's cooperative yeah which is good so yeah uh, mine that i'm probably the most excited about is is pretty close between the two lucky duck games it's either dark quarter mm -hmm. or it's going to be divinous um both of which that one looks cool too though oh this one every time i look at it i just mm -hmm. get so excited about it um but yeah that lucky cool duck for, is like, like the firing on all cylinders part of it like cuz you said it's different gods so it's like what yeah. greek mythology type gods it's nordic gods versus uh man I think it's Greek gods. I'm pretty sure. Oh, it's Greek. okay, that's cool though. Greek gods. Yep, ancient Greece is being uh, is being invaded by the pantheon of Nordic gods who have oh. left their destroyed world in search of new land. So yeah, interesting. So this is pretty cool. Uh, they're fighting over, and you are like a a demigod that mm. has to you know get favor favor from either side. Um, but it's it's pretty pretty cool. So between those two. Lucky Duck Games is on fire uh, for us right now. Mm -hmm. And then you throw in the story over here for the Dark Quarter that they did with... If it's the same designer as Detective City of Angels. Ah, I don't know. It's going to be tough between those two. But, man, keep them coming, Lucky Duck, because I'm all over it. <laughs> yeah, I mean, honestly, they've turned into, like some of my favorite games yeah and it's all decently priced mm -hmm. you know if you're looking for a epic game i get that it, you know that's a little expensive you're looking at 99 dollars, not including shipping but um pretty I, I think for what you're getting that's a pretty good price right and you get hours and hours i mean one scenario is up to like three hours mm -hmm. and that's that's awesome yeah it seems and you get there's a lot of characters to choose from too mm -hmm. so you're not limited to like oh you get like five of them i think it is five for the base game but then i think the expansion the expansion have adds too. more yeah yep so yeah it's gonna be cool i didn't i didn't get all these like metal plastic token stuff yeah. I, I didn't need it and i did not need all the minis just yeah. give me the monster ones that's all i want so yeah, um, so yeah, we're gonna wrap it up here. Let us know what are some of the games that you are backing in crowdfunding. You know, whether it be mm -hmm. GameFound or Indiegogo or, or yeah, no, what am I thinking? What? No, I don't. I don't know what I'm thinking. Not Indiegogo. I was like, in, what's no. Indiegogo? Never mind. I don't know. I, I was thinking of uh, GoFundMe. I don't know why. I said that. So yeah, game found Kickstarter. I it's only knew late. about Kickstarter. Honestly. It's getting late, so I'm starting to get a little loopy. But yeah. anyway, um, these are the games that we're backing and that we're excited for. So uh, I'm excited. Um, yeah, let us know what you guys are backing, what you mm -hmm. guys are supported. Uh, I'd be if there's anything we're missing. I will say that even. Even though we have all these games to be back, there are a couple that I'm looking forward to um, backing this month. So there's, or maybe not in this month, but still this year that are on my one is going to be Bark Avenue. Yeah. It's another dog game. Yeah. That's from uh, Paradise Games. Um, that's Mackenzie and Jonathan that have been working on those. 
uh, super excited about another dog game. <laughs> that one yes. I probably might be even more excited than the actual uh, dog part. Really? But I, I don't know. From the look I, of it, I thought it looked awesome. Yeah. And it seems funny. Like, it's yeah. like a funny, go- goofy type. I mean, each dog's going to want to go somewhere, and, like, small dogs can't walk as far as the big dogs. Maybe that's know. what I was getting it mixed up with, because, yeah, because... Bark Avenue. Instead of dog park? Yeah, because I said you could wa- only walk certain dogs in certain places. Yeah. And and then there was one where you... And then they said that you couldn't um, have certain dogs with other ones because they'd fight or whatever. Right. Or they just didn't get along. So I was like, that... It, yeah. it just seemed really funny. I think that one's... In a couple weeks, it'll be coming Peeing out. Peeing and pooping and right. things like that. Yeah, so there's that one. And then the other one that I know for sure this month is going to be... Uh, the expansion to Kabuto Sumo. So I like mm-hmm. Kabuto Sumo quite a bit. So yeah. I'm going to get that one. Um, and maybe QE. I don't know. We'll and that expansion. I don't know. We'll see. <laughs> so anyway, those are our games. I'm going to stop rambling uh, and we're going to wrap this up. So thanks for watching. Uh, again, like, comment, subscribe. Click the little bell icon so you get a notification every single time we post a video. And we'll see you guys on the next one. See ya. Bye.